So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you could easily do a reverse clip or reverse video effect right here in Shotcut. So let's go ahead and see how we could actually reverse time. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. All right, so reversing your video clips is something that I really thought would be difficult to do because it is a really cool looking effect. However, Shotcut makes it super easy because they already give you an option to reverse any clip right here within Shotcut. So the way we do that is we'll go ahead and make sure that our clip is down here in our project timeline. So you have it in your playlist as you drag it down here. So once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and select your clip. And when your clip is selected, you're gonna go here to properties. So make sure you have this properties tab. And if for some reason you do not see the properties tab, you could go up here to view and then choose properties. So then it shows up down here. So once you're in your properties, you'll notice that there's an option down here called reverse. So there is a reverse button. So all you have to do is click on this. And here it's gonna ask you what type of format or quality that you want. So there's good, better, and best. And if you notice, it's a different file format for each one of them. So good, it's MP4. Better, it's MOV. And then best, it's going to be MKV. So this is lossless. So I'm just going to go ahead and do good. And then there's also advanced features as well. So I don't use any of this. And once you've decided on the quality that you want, go ahead and click on OK. And then if you notice right here under jobs on the top right, it's converting it. So once this conversion is done, we'll be able to use our brand new reverse clip video. All right, so once your reverse clip is done, it's gonna have this green check mark. And most importantly, your video file is gonna have the reversed naming right here. So before it's just water sport, now it's called reverse. I already did a reverse previously, so now it's called reverse2.mp4. But now if I actually go back to the beginning of the clip and I play this, it's my original video, but this time reverse or now going backwards. And that's all you have to do. That is really super easy to do. And I'm so glad that Shotcut provided this feature right here under properties. Now there are some other things that you could do. So if you go back to your playlist, you'll notice that your original file is still here. But what if you wanted to use your reverse clip video? Well, all you have to do is go here under your jobs and you can right click on your mouse and then you can go ahead and open it or show in folder. So I'll go ahead and show in folder. And so what it does is it actually saves the file underneath the directory that you actually save your project. So if I went here to my project and I did a file save as, you know, I have it saved under this folder. And uh, that's exactly what it shows me here. So if I show in folder, I can now drag this new reverse file into my project. So I'll go ahead and drag this one, which is the current one I'm using. There it is. And go ahead and save that if you want. So that way you have your original if you need it and the new one. And at the same time, you could always copy and paste your uh, original onto your project timeline. So it's really up to you. So now you have the reverse version. And if you wanted to, you could always uh, drag down your original as well, just so that we could see the difference. So go down here. All right. Then I'm going to have the new one right afterwards. So let's go ahead and watch this. So here is the original in the correct uh, motion, I would say. And we have our jet skis going in the right direction. And now we have it going backwards in the opposite direction. As you can see there, video is reverse, going back in time. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now, there are some other things as well. So if, for example, you have some audio on the clips, um, there will be some differences, of course. So I have this clip right here. So this one, I already have the reverse. So you might have to put on some earphones to hear this. So just listen to this real quick. Well, it's going to sound really weird, but let me see if I could go to the beginning right here. 
So, as you could probably hear, I'm either speaking a new language, sounds like Klingon, or the entire clip is in reverse. So, whenever you do this, if you have audio, it will reverse the audio. And if for some reason you don't want the audio play, you could always choose your clip and you could mute the audio like I have here. So now you could add a different audio to it if you want on a different track. Or you could also detach the audio. So you select the clip, right click on your mouse, and then you can go here to more and you can detach your audio. So that way the audio is not with the clip at all. So you have many options there. And there's other things you could do as well. So say for example, you know, you wanted to keep the audio in there because it sounds really weird. You could also slow things down as well. So you could choose the clip, go back to properties. There's an option here called speed. You could adjust the speed. So I'm going to lower this down just to show you. So now let's go ahead and play this. And now it's a lot slower. So there's a lot of cool things you could do with that. And at the same time, if you wanted to, you could also speed things up. You know, you could put in numeric values as well if you don't want to do it that way. It takes a second for it to change, but. So there's a lot of ways that you could have fun uh, using the reverse uh, clip option, but also using the speed as well. So that's it for this video on how you can easily uh, reverse your clips, uh, use the reverse effect on practically any video clip that you had. And at the same time, you could also reverse the audio. Uh, plus, I also showed you how you could change some of the speed as well. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you use the reverse clip effect, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.